Hey, fourth graders. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, Newzella today. So with Newzella, you are going to sign in to your Gmail account on one tab, and then you're going to open up a new tab and click sign in with Google. Okay. If you need help with logging into Newzella, I did a video um, that I put right here. It says how to log on to Newzella and just follow those instructions and you should be good to go. It's also on your green sheet, all those directions that we put in your yellow folder on that green sheet. Um, those directions should help you log into Newzella. Okay, so once you get into Newzella, now this is my teacher side. Your side looks a little bit different, but once you get in, your assignment should pop up on this home screen. If it's not, then you can click this Newzella button and you should see a list of assignments instead of what you see on my screen here, okay? But mine is in my binder over here. And your assignment um, that I assigned to you is going to be, wait for it, it's loading here, it's going to be reaching out in times of crisis, okay? That's going to be your article that you're going to read today, okay? So it's a really good article about community, friendships, um, during hard times, which is perfect for what we're going through right now. Okay, so I hope you enjoy reading that article. Before I talk more about this article, I want to talk about our um, Newzella expectations. So um, I did share this on the checklist because I know a lot of you have it in your folder at school, but um, I also shared this copy on your checklist too, so you can make sure that you go through every single step on this checklist, okay? So step one is pre-reading. So this is all about getting your mind ready to read, um, making sure you're focused, finding a quiet spot to read in your house, um, and then you are, you are creating predictions of what you will be reading, okay? So you're looking at the title, the pictures, the captions to the picture, any vocabulary words that you see, um, you're all going to analyze that before you start reading. This will help you get your mind focused and ready to read, okay? You might want to even read the writing prompt to get an idea of what you'll be writing about. Now, the writing prompt is not going to be in Newzella. I changed the writing prompt for you. Um, but you're going to go to Classwork in Google Classroom, and it's going to be this assignment that says Newzella article, Reaching Out in Times of Crisis. You'll click on that and it will take you to your own copy. So the writing prompt that you're going to be writing about after you read this article is, how can tough times create better communities and friendships? Give evidence from the Newzella article to support your answer, okay? So giving evidence, that should be nothing new to us because we've been doing that all year. So I did put the race template on here along with the CER template because I know some of you prefer one over the other. You do not have to do both, okay? Just choose which one you want to do. You're either doing CER or race, okay? They're both very similar. The claim evidence reasoning is a little bit more science-based, but other than that, they're very similar. Um, I also put that editing and revising checklist that we worked on with our natural disaster rating, so make sure you go through that process too. And then don't forget to write your final paragraph down here, okay? You're going to indent read over carefully, all that good stuff. You can just copy and paste just like you did for your science prompt, okay? All right, so that's your writing prompt you'll be um, looking at. Let me go back to the expectations here, okay? So remember, when you're reading a Newzella article, you always wanna read it twice, okay? This is to help you really um, make sure you understand the full article in order to write about it, in order to take the quiz, um, all that good stuff, okay? So the first read, you can just kick back and relax and just focus on reading to understand the article. So you're really just thinking about um, what you're reading here, okay? Now the second read, you want to analyze it a little bit deeper. So um, you're going to annotate and highlight yellow anything that you think is important, confusing, or makes you wonder. So remember on the Newzella article, um, you can highlight, you can also annotate. So if I think um, maybe this sentence is really important, I can highlight it. Okay, I'm going to highlight it in yellow because I think this is important. And then by annotating, um, I can write a comment in here. So people around the world have gotten sick 
So maybe I think this is important because maybe this refers back to um, coronavirus. And that's what this article must be referring to. Okay, or you can annotate whatever you want in here. You don't have to annotate in complete sentences. You can even just leave yourself notes, okay? So um, it's totally up to you what you annotate and highlight in yellow. It's really whatever you think is important, confusing, or makes you wonder. Now, you do not want to highlight the entire article because that defeats the purpose of highlighting. Just highlight small um, sections of the article, maybe a word, maybe a sentence, but I wouldn't go... Um, any longer than really a sentence, okay? Because otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose of highlighting. All right, for power words, there is no power words um, for this article particularly, um, but in the future we will be doing articles with power words, okay? But power words, as you know, are those 10 qu question quizzes um, that are all about vocabulary, okay? But there are no power words um, there's no power words quiz on this article, okay? Uh, there is a quiz though. So step four is you're going to take the quiz, okay? So it says refer back to the article for each question to find evidence to support your answer. You may have to reread some parts of the article and that's okay, okay? Uh, um, obviously, if you don't know the answer to a question, you need to go back and reread maybe a section of the article, okay? Okay. Um, also, it's never a bad idea to just double check that you have the right answer. So that's why we are highlighting the evidence you found in red. Okay, so you're going to go back to the ar article wherever in the article it proves your answer is correct. You will highlight it in red. Okay, um, so I'm going to go back to the article and show you real quick. So let's say that this um, sentence right here gave me evidence for question number one on the quiz. I'm going to highlight it in red. And if that's for question number one, I'm going to write question one. Okay? Or you can write Q1. You can just write the number one. Just make sure that I can look at your article so I can pull up your article, see all your highlights, and I should be able to figure out that this is your evidence for question number one, okay? Remember, I do pull up your articles and I look for your highlighting, okay? Your highlighting is just as important as the quiz and the writing, okay? So make sure you are highlighting on your article. That's the number one thing people forget is to highlight that evidence in red. And then, you know, what we find out is that we don't do very well on the quiz then. So make sure that you take your time on the quiz. It's only four questions. They're tricky questions, but if you highlight that evidence, you should be able to figure out the right answer, okay? All right, and then the writing prompt, I kind of went over that earlier, but that's in your Google Classroom. You're going to take a look at the article, look at your notes, your highlights, anything from the article that will help you in your writing prompt. Um, it's also a good idea in your evidence to quote maybe a part of the article, okay? So make sure you use quotation marks. You can also restate it in your own words, okay? Part of the article, that is fine too. Um, make sure you proofread your article for capitals, punctuation, subject, predicate, spelling, and then you're going to revise your article. Now, obviously, you're not going to show your teacher, okay? We'll just take a look at it when you submit it on Google Classroom. So in Google Classroom in the writing prompt, um, there should be a turn in button over here. Once you hit turn in, then I will... Um, take a look at it, okay? We're going to use the same rubric that I showed you earlier for the science rubric. So if you joined our Google Meet, this is that same rubric that we're going to be grading your Newzella writing on, okay? All right, hopefully that um, makes sense. Also, don't forget to edit and revise down here. Um, if you have any questions on Newzella, take a look at these videos first because I probably answered your question in either how to log on to Newzella or how to do Newzella. Um, but just make sure that you take the quiz. Do not do the writing prompt in here. And then you should be go good to go. If you have any questions, please email me and I will help you out. All right. Have fun reading that article, guys. Have a good day.